What happens if you're able to get two explosions to collide using just one bullet? One bullet? How are you gonna do that? Well, I thought you'd never ax. <laughs> that was awful. Yeah, that was bad. <laughs> We're cutting that. Welcome back to Ballistic High Speed. You heard that right. Today we're going to try to get two explosions, two binary compounds to detonate at roughly the exact same time with one bullet using an axe. Today you notice we have a brand new contraption to the channel. This was sent out by Ransom International. This is one of their ballistic forensic testing machines, so yeah. to speak. It allows us to very securely mount this down, remotely fire the gun, get behind safety, all that good stuff, and it should be very repeatable. So thanks to Ransom International for sending this out. We should put it to some um, pretty good use on the channel. To break it in, we've yet again brought out the Terran Tactical Harbinger. It's a multi-cal, so 308, 762 by 51. It can eat both of them. Man, that is a, a small point. Yeah. So we're gonna see if we can get this to and if you haven't seen it already, we did split nine millimeter bullets by hand, which was pretty darn fun and cool. So go ahead and check that out. But it was a much fatter bullet than this. Yes. <laughs> so this might be a little more challenging. That's why we have the ransom rest out here. So I'd say let's get this strapped down and press our luck trying to split a skinny little 308. I think we can do it. You look different today. Dare oh. I say better. Thanks for noticing. This would be my new shirt. Uh, it's new to the channel. You can get yourself one over on Bunker Branding. It really helps support the channel. Nice military green. Yep, and it feels way better in the sun than the black did. No kidding. And who else helps the channel? The Snoring Desert Institute, sdi.edu. We cannot thank them enough. They help us tremendously. There's also a ton of courses. I always tell you guys about shooting sports management and ballistics. You can learn how to do hydrographics. I have a buddy that went there. He just started his own business off of it. Ooh. So, yep. Very cool. Now that everything's strapped down in our Ransom International machine. It's a machine for sure. <laughs> let's see if a 308 can split just as well as nine millimeter. <laughs> let's try it. Let's do it. All right, weapons hot. High speed ready? High speed ready. Roger that. Firing in three, two, one. In three, two, one. Oh, definitely. Yes. Definitely. Do the other one? Yeah. All right, number two in three, two, one. Yes. Did it do that one too? It either did it or was a millimeter left. Okay. Very, very close. I have a feeling this is gonna take quite a few shots, but luckily we have an ammo sponsor, Kerr Ammo. We like to get ammo from them. They can help you find unique rounds if you're looking for some. I've got them looking for some for me right now. They're really great to work with though. They're Texas based. They're a family owned business, which I love. So go help them out because they help us out. We've also got discount code in the description. Yes. So head down there, save some money. Yes. because. Who doesn't like saving money? Exactly. I think that's everybody. You gotta thank the sponsors. You this is true. Them. All right. Splitting a 308 into two water bottles. In three, two, one. Oh, oh we got, we got, one, got one. one. We got one. Let's see how close it was. In three, two, one. Oh, oh, we went to the other side. <laughs> it might have been overcorrected. I even went back some. Three, two, one. Whoa! Oh. Did, is that one punctured? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I think we hit it. 
Oh yeah, we hit it. <laughs> so this one must have got hit by really big fragments. Yeah. And that must have got hit by small ones. So if anything, that tells me I'm gonna make a tiny push back. Ever so slight. Ever so slight. And then, I say we just do the ironclad. Just set off two of them at once? I'd say we just get to it. Cause we're just beating the crap out of the ax. Yeah. It's only gonna get worse and worse. We do have one more if we need it. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Almost looks like a face. Can we set off two simultaneous explosions? Hmm. And you're supposed to be traveling at 2,200 feet per second it doesn't look like we're losing much speed at all. It should still be over 2,000, I would think. Yeah, and like you were saying, those numbers could be padded, so maybe 1,800 works, who knows. We're about to find out. We're gonna be behind, I think they're level 3A or level 4 riot shields, so we got, and we're, we're plenty far away. So, enough of safety. Although, safety first, science second. We covered all the safety, so let's do the science. Let's do it. All right, it is hot. <laughs> I'm scared. All right, we're behind the shields. Yep. Trying to split a bullet and set off two explosions in three, two, one. Oh, I think it worked. I think it worked. Holy We that did it. Loud as We did it. Woo! Okay, okay. That's what I'm talking about. Holy <laughs> Yeah. Oh, just one. Dang it. I thought it was both. You can see fragments going to the left. Yeah. But it just missed it. Oh, that would have been okay. so cool. But we carry enough speed with it. Yes. So we know it's possible. We just have to split it a little more centered. Yes. Look yeah. how cool that is unfolding over the axe. Yeah. Even that's awesome. Before we run out of all of our half pound containers, yeah, uh, we're just switching to water bottles because as the containers get hit without exploding, we're just gonna run out of our good stuff. So we're staying hydrated out here because it's nice and hot. We're just slamming water and filling it up with uh, explosives. Because we have plenty of the ammonium nitrate, just yes. not very many small containers. Yeah, I've got like 60 pounds of that. So. All right, take two. I guess let's just keep shooting. Ready for you. Okay, three, two, one. That felt pretty good. Seemed loud. <laughs> Seemed loud. <laughs> Cameras are all good? Yep, it's happening. I feel it in my bones. Last time. Uh, come on. All right, here we go. We're doing it. We're doing it. Firing in three, two, one. Oh! That had to be it. That had to be. Had to be it. Holy. Yeah, because look, we, we broke the axe thing. Oh. That's got to be it, that baby. That has oh! to be it. Yeah! Dude. <laughs> it's got to it be. It has to be. Got to be. Okay. Oh, my God. We Dude. We did it. Holy cow. What in the? Cow. It ripped a bolt. <gasps> it broke two welds. Holy. <gasps> the whole thing's broken. Oh. Okay. Dude. This is a good time to triple thank Ransom Rest because we were able to be so far away to even be comfortable doing stuff like this. That's freaking nuts. These are three inch screws. <laughs> two of them Jesus and then two Christ. in that. But that, that had to be the full pound then. We've More done five that. pounds, I feel like, or well, two maybe, pounds. Maybe it's just because we're just adding destruction, destruction, destruction. That's true. Technically haven't watched high speed. No. But I feel like it's that was it. Be. It has to be. That was way that louder. That was way louder. As soon as I heard that, I knew. I guess I okay. said that on the half pound too. <laughs> yeah. Let's go queue up some high speed. Uh, all right, let's do it. Let's do it. There's the bullet. Split. That had to be it. That had to be it. Field goal. Hold on, we need to go back. We need to go back. It looks so close. Okay, can you see the bullet okay? Yep. Inching in, inching in. 
split. Definitely split. Okay, I see a chunk over here. I see a chunk over there too. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Yes. Woo! Yes. Woo <laughs> Dude. Yeah. God, I forgot what that rush was like when we split oh, the nine gosh. millimeter. Yes. <laughs> Nice shot. Yeah. That's amazing. That's a cool shot right there. That's amazing. You were running what on this? This is 33,000. 33. And that was a quarter million. We got the quarter. How close will you be able to calculate the difference in times with 250,000 frames per second? Each frame will be four microseconds. So if you see no ignition, ignition on one or both, yeah. that will have been somewhere within, within four millionths of a second. <laughs> that was it. Did you see them coming up the axe? Yeah. It's collapsing like a wave because of the shape. We were hitting there. Okay. And then the next frame. Within four millionths of a second, yeah. those hit. That's kind of cool. You can see multiple ignitions. Yeah. Now. Like here, you get one main one, a small one down there, so that a means couple up there. Each of those is traveling around 2,000 feet per second still. And the mass is enough to set it off. Right. That's one of those, like, we could shoot that five more times. You're not going to get it more perfect. Probably not. That's it. You'd have to do it with electrical debts. That's right. how yeah. you'd have to do it. Yep. Damn. Okay. Well, that solves that. That's, that's a wrap for today. Shotgun snacks? Shotgun snacks? Yeah, if we split some slugs. I'm going to have to build a more beefy... That all needs re-welded for sure. Yep. All right. Thanks so much for watching that episode. That was a lot of fun. And I didn't even know if this was going to work. Honestly, yeah. it was kind of a risk of a sunny day because we don't yeah. get a lot of them. That's true. But apparently you can split a rifle bullet and still have enough mass and velocity to set off two different Tannerite containers, or in this case, ironclad. Yeah. <laughs> as you can imagine, it took quite a few tries. So over on the Patreon, there'll be a lot more as we were kind of walking the shots in and yeah. figuring out the rest and how to mount it and all that. Yeah, because this gets the condensed what you want to see version here on YouTube. Patreon, we've got extra high speed shots because we did have some splits that didn't quite hit how we wanted to or glancing blows that came off in really interesting ways. So if you want to see a little bit more of the high speed stuff of the misses and the glancing blows, head over to Patreon. It also supports the channel. Got different tiers over there. We've got this nice, beautiful range some rest now so we can get you know a lot deeper into some forensics and ballistics and actually really delivering on consistent shots so thanks again to ransom international for sending this out i have a feeling this is going to be making quite a few appearances while we're talking about it we still have a brand new axe that hasn't been touched yet and i'm feeling like shotgun slugs that's going to be a good one although i don't know how many shots we're going to get out of it but it's only one way to find out this is true so thanks again for watching hopefully we'll see you over on patreon and we will see you in the next episode Okay, I know what's going on. Oh, <laughs> oh, not too bad. It's a pretty strong mirror. Yeah. He's still alive. <laughs> <laughs> I had to do something. <laughs>